After winter has thawed, the first flowers of early spring appear. But these plants have not grown from seeds. They have reproduced from bulbs. Bulbs enable plants to reproduce asexually, that is, without producing gametes. Bulbs are known as perinating organs. They allow plants to survive in adverse conditions and then to grow quickly when the time is right. The swollen rhizomes of irises have a similar function, but asexual reproduction does not rely solely on perinating organs. This liverwort can reproduce asexually via gemmae. Gemmae are small discs of green tissue that grow inside special cups. When mature, they break off from the parent plant, often due to the action of raindrops. They scatter away from the parent plant and will eventually grow into new gametophyte plants. Plants like this bryophyllum can also reproduce asexually. Miniature plantlets develop at the edges of its leaves. In time, these will drop off and develop into independent plants. Mature strawberry plants are able to establish new plantlets on the end of long runners. Gardeners are able to cultivate plants asexually via cuttings. This is possible because stem cells like these are able to trigger the formation of root cells and will start to grow roots. The ability of many plants to reproduce asexually helps commercial growers because it's quicker and more reliable than growing plants from seeds. It also ensures growers that quality is consistent. Asexual reproduction is all about exploiting a good niche. In such circumstances, the value of sexual reproduction with its resultant diversity may actually weaken the dominance of an established group. But in a changing environment, diversity means survival.